Stop what you're doing. This is a much watch. This week alone, a massive data breach exposed over 16 billion records, shattering global security headlines and proving once again, your phone is a target. But with Android 16, Google is fighting back. In this video, we'll cover how advanced protection in Android 16 isn't just an upgrade, it's your frontline defense. From blocking real-time threats to shielding your most sensitive info, these are must-do settings and features you need to turn on right now. Stay tuned because your digital safety starts here. I'm Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we help seniors understand technology and stay safe with their smartphones. We're then going to take a deeper dive and look into the specifics of all the features of this incredible piece of software. But for those of you who just want to know how to turn it on, I'm going to put the timestamps in this video so you can just go right to that section and just listen. It's super easy to turn on and I'm going to explain that in just a minute. Prior to Android 16, advanced protection was not a paid standalone feature for regular and Android users. Advanced protection, or the APP as it was called, was offered by Google mainly targeting high-risk users like journalists, activists, political, political campaign workers. It was part of Google's broader security initiatives, not an Android-specific paid add-on. This, this was often um, bundled with Google One or Google Workspace. However, this is being released in Android 16. It is free, available for all users on their phones. Okay, what I'm really trying to say is this. It's a scary world out there, and it is most likely your personal data has been leaked. This can lead to a compromise in security and some bad things happening. Advanced protection is a whole other step forward in securing your privacy with your Android phone. And Google has now made this as part of their security update in Android 16. It's a no-brainer. You got to turn it on. It's free. It works well. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. I've been running it on my Pixel 8 for about a week now since I installed Android 16. I really haven't noticed anything. It doesn't slow my phone down. Haven't noticed any problems with it at all. It just runs in the background and protects you. That's what I think you're going to need because the breaches and the data breaches that we have now, it's most likely that your data is out there for the bad guys to get. So let's look at advanced protection and how we turn it on. I'm going to show you a little video now that I did on my Pixel 8. All right, let's find um, where we find advanced protection. Let's go to settings as we scroll down here. We're gonna click the little button at the bottom and we're gonna to come to settings. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna, or sorry, down, and we're gonna to come to security and privacy. We're gonna click security and privacy. And then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna come down. And here's where you're gonna find advanced protection. Protect your device and Google account. We're gonna click this. And this is advanced protection. And this helps defend against online attacks, harmful apps, insecure connections, and other threats that put your data at risk. So we're gonna turn this on and all you need to do is toggle this on. Now you can see that it is, I have it toggled on. When you install this, it won't be turned on. You have to come to this setting and you have to manually turn this on. This will require a restart of your phone after you toggle it on. All right, let's dive a little bit deeper now and look into the various features of advanced protection. The first we want to talk about is the smarter and safer app permissions in Android 16. Now let's focus in on the granular permission control. Android 16 gives users more specific control over what apps can access your phone. 
You can now choose allow while using the app, ask every time, allow only once, or don't allow. New pop-up prompts include clear visual icons and contextual explanations so you know why an app is requesting access. Now, there also is an auto reset for dormant apps. If you haven't used an app in a while, example, 90 plus days, Android 16 automatically revokes its permissions like camera, mic, location, etc. This helps minimize background access from forgotten or rarely used apps. Now, one-time access for sensitive sensors. Apps needing access to the camera, microphone, or location can be limited to a single-use session. This is especially useful for things like QR code scanners or navigation tools that don't need full-time access. There is a redesigned privacy dashboard that shows a timeline of which apps access sensitive data, including microphone, camera, location. You'll see what time each access occurred and tap to instantly revoke it. AI-powered permission alerts. Android 16 uses on-device machine learning to detect useful or suspicious permission behavior. If an app suddenly starts accessing your microphone in the background, you'll get a real-time alert. Now, security without the cloud. Android 16 introduced one of the most powerful behind-the-scenes updates on-device AI security. Instead of sending your data to the cloud, Android 16 now uses advanced AI directly on your phone thanks to Google's Gemini Nano model. This allows your phone to detect phishing messages, scam calls, malicious links in real time with out ever sharing your private information with the Google servers. It all occurs on your phone. For example, if someone texts you a fake delivery notice or a link to a shady login page, Android 16 will instantly flag it with a warning, even if you're offline. This local AI engine can help you detect abnormal app behaviors like when the game starts requesting access to your contacts or microphone. It's not just reactive, it's proactively learning patterns, helping keep you protected from new threats as they emerge. But the best part is you stay in control and your data never leaves your phone. Private space, your digital vault in Android 16. One of the most talked about new features in Android 16 is Private Space, a secure digital vault built right into your phone. Think of it as a personal sandbox where you can hide apps, files, and photos that you don't want showing up in your regular app drawer or search history. Private Space is locked with a fingerprint, pin, or pattern and is completely separate from your main profile. That means any apps you move into Private Space behave like they were installed on a separate device with their own storage, setting, and notifications. You can use it to keep health on financial apps hidden, isolate messaging apps for private conversations, or store sensitive files or notes away from prying eyes. What's more, private space only becomes visible when you unlock it, so if someone borrows your phone or locks it or looks through your apps, they won't even know it exists. It's security and discretion built right in. This is an excellent feature. Real-time scam call detection, smarter call protection with on-device AI. If you're tired of scam calls and robocallers interrupting your day, Android 16 brings a major upgrade real-time scam call detection powered by on-device AI. This is pretty cool. Let me show you how this works. Here's how it works. When a call comes in, Android uses Gemini Nano, its built-in AI, to instantly analyze caller behavior and speech, all on your phone, with no internet connection needed. 
It listens for scam-like patterns such as pressure tactics, fake threats, impersonation clues. If a call is flagged as suspicious, you'll see a clear warning before you answer or even during the call if it picks up shady behavior in mid-conversation. And unlike traditional spam filters, the system is adaptive. It keeps learning how scammers talk in real time without relying on static call databases. The bottom line is you get proactive protection from scam calls, even offline, without handing your data over to any servers. Location access controls, more transparency and less tracking. Android 16 continues Google's push for user privacy by giving you more control over location access. With clearer choices and better visibility, into how your data is used. Whenever an app requests your location, you now get an updated prompt with smarter defaults that you can choose. For example, you have precise location for apps like Maps or Rideshare that need your GPS level accuracy. Approximate location for things like weather or local news where a general area is enough or no access at all. So you can set that on how accurate you want your GPS location to be. But that's just the beginning. Android 16 now notifies you in real time when an app requests your location repeatedly in the background, even if it was previously granted access. You'll see a friendly alert like XYZ app has accessed your location five times in the past 24 hours. You can tap this alert to jump directly into the privacy dashboard where you'll find a timeline of all recent location access events across all apps. And yes, apps that try to circumvent the rules by using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth signals to estimate your location, Android 16 flags those as well. Stronger credential management, passwords optional, and security built in. Android 16 is making passwords feel more like a thing of the past, thanks to enhanced credential management system. First off, Android 16 now supports its passkeys by default. Passkeys are more secure and an easier way to log into apps and websites using biometrics like your fingerprint or face instead of typing in passwords. And the best part, these passwords are stored securely on your device or synced through your Google account using end-to-end -end encryption. So when you open up an app like Gmail, PayPal, or a banking map, they'll just authenticate with your fingerprint. No need to remember or type anything in. But Android 16 goes on further. It introduces a centralized Credential Manager API that lets apps request login credentials, whether passwords, passkeys, or federated logins like sign in with Google, all from one place. This not only reduces phishing risks, but also simplifies switching between apps or devices. Oh, the Google Password Manager has been deeply integrated, offering password health alerts, breach warnings, and suggestions to upgrade to pass keys. Bottom line, Android 16 helps you log in faster, stay safer, and ditch weak or reused passwords. Bottom line is Android 16 helps you log in faster, stay safer, and ditch weak or reused passwords for good. Automatic security updates, seamless protection, no interruptions. Android 16 makes staying protected easier than ever thanks to a new system of automatic silent security updates that work in the background. You no longer need to manually check for updates or restart your phone at inconvenient times. With Android 16, security patches are applied silently and in most cases without needing to reboot immediately. Here's how it works. Google now uses a modular update system called Project Mainline 
to push security patches directly to specific system components like media framework to stop exploits for videos, network stack to block Wi-Fi based attacks, or Bluetooth services to prevent remote access vulnerabilities. These updates are smaller and more frequent and can be installed without affecting your personal data or running apps. You'll get subtle notifications when it's done, but unless you dig into the settings, you might not even notice it happened. This means that your device stays secure 24 seven, vulnerabilities are patched faster than ever, and you don't have to wait for full system updates. Now for users and IT administrators, this is a game changer. Now here's an important point. You don't need the latest phone to enjoy Android 16's new security feature. Google has optimized Android 16 to work smoothly on a wide range of devices, including Pixel 6 and newer, Galaxy Samsung S22 and up, and select OnePlus, Motorola, and nothing phones. Many of these features like passkey login, real-time scan, call protection, and automatic security updates are designed to work even on mid-range and older devices. And if your phone doesn't get Android 16 right away, you'll still benefit from Google Play system updates, which push out things like security patches, scan protection, privacy improvements through Project Mainline without needing a full OS update. So even if you're not on the bleeding edge, you're still getting serious protection. So in summary, this is a week where 16 billion passwords and user identity were compromised and published on the web. You must assume that your personal data and secure passwords have been compromised, along with all the other breaches occurred in the past year. Advanced protection is a major feature on your smartphone that you'll need to turn on to stay protected, but you must turn it on. Remember, this is a new feature of Android 16 that will be coming to most smartphones in the near future. I'm Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Be sure and click that like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.